Welcome everybody to another Voice of Nick live stream. We're going to be playing more Yakuza Kiwami 2 this time. And uh, we're going through the streets of Osaka looking for guys to beat up or possibly uh, fried chicken places to eat at where they won't kick us out for breaking all the windows. <laughs> guys, if you don't know the channel, it's called The Voice of Nick. I play video games live three times a day and seven days a week. It's all story focused games on here and I don't talk over the story or cutscene moments, but they are what we call ultra blind playthroughs. So I do request no one utilize their pre-existing knowledge of the game or suggest what to do in the game, whether or not they've played it before. If you wanna see which games are being played, you can type exclamation mark games in the chat. You'll get a full list of all seven concurrent gameplay series going. And if you like what you see today, don't forget to hit that follow button up top. You see a follower goal of uh, seven and I believe we're at two right now. So we're getting there guys. The 20, Ninth entry in the Twitch playbook is out right now as well. That one is called How to Get in the Habit of Twitch Streaming. So go give it a look. It's really important stuff. If you don't know the Twitch playbook, it's a free podcast I created. You can find it on iTunes, on Spotify, on all the major podcast platforms. It'll help you either create a Twitch channel or improve on a Twitch channel. Hopefully uh, you can find some use out of it. If you uh, want to find it in the chat, you can also type exclamation mark chat in the... Uh, or exclamation mark chat, exclamation mark playbook in the chat below. You'll get a little link directly to it. I don't think exclamation mark chat is a real command though. Let's jump into the game, ladies and gents, into Yakuza Kiwami. I think it appears to be for the host. And let's play some Yakuza. Oh, hold on, I gotta plug my controller in though. This controller is very um, finicky with like, if it has like even like 90% battery life left, it'll start flashing this green light. Um, as if to say that it's like out of batteries, but it's not out of batteries. It's not even close to out of batteries. It's really weird. Okay, let's get ready to do it. If it has like even like 90%. Yup, the time. All right. Amelia Wherever, welcome to the stream. Let's get an exclamation mark. Hi, for Amelia Wherever, joining the program. Welcome in. What was your favorite thing you did today on this fine Friday? See, now this says that the controller has full batteries. Very finicky. And now it doesn't say that. Who knows with this thing? It's just a very weird charging system. Honestly, I should just keep it plugged in at all times, then I wouldn't have to worry about it. Weru? I'm not sure, I've never seen that with U and a small E. So, okay, we want to go behind us. Uh-oh. You just messed up, guys, because you are fighting me right in front of this lady who's going to give you something you don't want. Here we go. Got him. Yowza. There goes that guy. Smile Burger. Nice. Amelia saying you found out the release date to the RDR2 score album. Nice. When does it come out? That's going to be a good and definitely a lot of good compositions in that game. 
got to be huge. Yo, Kiryu-han, how's it hanging? Boy. I'm having a problem with an information dealer named Esaki. Ever heard of him? Esaki, hey? You falling in with bad crowds now, Kiryu-han? The guy looked me up once, though, asking about the price of almonds. You know what almonds are, myself. And that's how I suggest you keep it, because I'm sure it ain't pretty. Oh, yeah, you know something? I forget where, but I recall a local barkeep talking about almonds, too. Sketchy bastard. Something about a hundred grand, two hundred grand a pop. Too rich for my blood. Maybe the bartender could give you the scoop if you manage to track him down. Maybe I will. Thanks. Damn, this is going to end up costing us as much as the other guy's thing did. Oh, it's seal? Okay, so we gotta do that. But we should first eat because our stomach meter is almost empty. So what do we actually want? I mean, I'm saying it's only 22 songs. That's a bummer, but at least it's better than 21 songs. Better than zero. We didn't even think that they were gonna have any, uh... Any, uh, uh... Score album, so that's a win for us. Okay, so we want to get the... Uh... I don't know. What do we truly want? Because obviously we could just get anything, but... We could get a bunch of these. Yeah, I guess we should do these. We can only get one of them. Boost sprint. Eh. Boost attack we can't get, apparently. Cannot get. No, no, no! Let me in! They won't follow me in here, will they? No, they will not. So I think now we want red meter. Let's just try and get everything we haven't eaten yet. Damn, this place. Oh, this is everything we need. Okay, so we're gonna finish off this place just by eating these two things. Can I get some hearts in that chat? Exclamation mark hearts for Irashaimase. Oh, look, she has a little laptop on her table there. Browsing the internet at work. The way it's meant to be. <clears throat> so we should have gotten an achievement for finishing that uh, that collection there. Let's try and do our uh, our peeing mission here. Give it a shot. Toilets. We're trying to do normal mode now. Here we go. Let's give it our best attempt. So how do I keep the bladder meter? Do I just keep doing this? What a breeze! I won't quit! But that's all we got. We don't have any more bladder. I don't know how to see how much bladder I have. <clears throat> there must be a meter somewhere that I'm not seeing. Next time, I guess. Hold on, let me see if there's a meter on this pause menu. No, I don't see one. Hmm. I don't see that. Inventory? Nope, not an inventory. Equipment? No. Stats? No. There's definitely not a bladder meter here. What about in this menu? Nope. Yeah, they do not have one. <clears throat> well, then I am not sure. Here we go. Stupid. 
steel. Shot bar steel. I think this is the um, this is the place that has uh, darts. Oh, that was a curry place. I want to see what all the places are. I like the elevators in Japan because they all have these these things inside the elevator too, so you can see all the names. That says uh, Bori Bori Kare. All right. Maybe that's like a like a nickname for so Sotenbori, which is the place that we're in. Hey, we got some irashimase. Can we get some hearts in that chat, ladies and gents? Boy. Welcome, sir. Hey, I've heard you're the guy to ask about almonds. Mm. Huh? Perhaps I am. Interested? Maybe, but what would that run me? 100,000 yen, sir. Pricey, aren't they? But good to know. Do I have your interest, sir? I need you to pay up front. Yeah. No, I think I'm all right. Thanks for the tip. <clears throat> Oh, he has Esoki's number, so now he can sort of lowball the guy. Hmm. Peter Beer sending those hearts. Thank you, Peter Beer. And can we get an exclamation mark high for Peter Beer joining in the chat? Welcome in, Peter Beer. What uh, are you looking forward to doing today? I'm guessing it's probably like middle of the day for you. How are you doing? Oh, let's see. If, do we have any locker keys? Probably not. Oh, we do have one more locker key. We got a lucky Hanafuda card. Approaching noon, nice. So what was your favorite thing that you're looking forward to doing today? <clears throat> Where's that Hanafuda card? Recovery, no. Where is that card? It was called Lucky Hanafuda Card. Oh, there it is. I have two of these. When flipping, you're able to flip the cards on the table within range. I don't know what that means. Trying to do some work while typing in bed. Or lying in bed, nice. That sounds relaxing. So now you can go back to the Mahjong parlor and uh, cut this guy's offer down by two thirds. Sounds good to me. Here we go, you guys ready for story? Boy. I heard you're a big player in the almond market. Is that something you'd like to discuss? Oh. Hey, that's fine. Let's drop that and call this a fair trade, eh? Takashima's a Toto U grad with connections to all sorts of government officials. But his loyalty to the Yomi Alliance fifth chairman is what got him to where he is today. Now he's on top of the food chain. Can't remember a time when he wasn't an officer. どうして俺の名前をあんた一億円になってしもたわなんだと検証金や悪思わんといてなその首に一億がかかっとりゃ誰でも目がちばしるわな一億と随分安く見られたもんだなまあ東洋界先代の首としちゃ安いかもしれへ
Get him. Good stuff. Okay, そうか。ほな雀荘で桐生を仕留めることはできへんかたっちゅうこっちゃな。分かった。せっかくあの女手下の情報源を先取りして銭に困った情報や連中を焚きつけたんですが。ああ、ないな、素人。桐生の首は取
It feels good, right? Feels real good. That's what 126 days of Duolingo will get you. Welcome to the blackjack table, sir. This is a low rate table where bets start at 10 chips. Will you be joining us today? You don't have enough chips, sir. Please come again. Oh, how do I exchange for chips then? Oh, this is the chip guy. Would you like to purchase chips, sir? Or perhaps exchange chips for prizes? What kind of, ugh, they only have these plates. That's how you know they don't really consider these to be like main mini games. But I would like to play some blackjack. Okay, one chip is 100 yen. So let's buy 100 chips. 10,000 yen is like 100 bucks. Or 10, not 10,000 chips, 10,000 yen, I mean. Sure, if you have the room. Very good, sir. Here we go. Let's play some blackjack. Send some hearts, ladies and gents. All right, up, down, left, right is those. Return. Do they have any special rules? That seems pretty normal. We're just going to go. Welcome to the blackjack table, ladies and gentlemen. I wish you all the best of luck. Betto, onegaishimasu. Betto, onegaishimasu. Oh, um, let's put 30. We have a 9-4. Is damn. Okay, we have 13. The dealer's pretty likely to get a good hand. Amelia, getting those hearts. Thank you, Amelia. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, look, they tell you what it means. Surrender. I never heard it described like that. Shit. Shit. Oh, wait, no! Oh, I pressed the button a second time. <sighs> I thought I was... Because ex usually you press the button once to make him say something, and you press A again to make him stop talking. I didn't think it was going to hit again. Ah, oh, crap. All right, here we go. We got it. We had a good hand, too. I don't know what we had, but it didn't bust, at least. Whatever. I don't know what he even had. I don't care what he had, honestly. All right, well, we have six right now, so we got to hit. 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 Stando. Stando. Good stuff. <laughs> I'm really saying you had 20. Don't rub it in. <laughs> Damn. What, I lost? Oh, I had 18. I thought I had 20 this round. All right, we're gonna put in all of our 40 chips. Man, they're really going away fast. Great, we have six again. We have nine, we have 18. Stand up. Oh, come on. There goes our chips. And that's how you lose all your money in Vegas on the first 10 minutes. That's happened to me before. I've had many a good trip to Vegas where you you know you have like a lot of success and you're you're winning, you're losing, you're having a good time, you know, whatever you do, and your money lasts for a while. But I've also had a trip where um, you know, I don't spend that much money, but like I spent all the money that I wanted to spend in the first, like, I spent like 80% of it, or lost 80% of it, I should say, in the first, like, hour, and then I was like, oh, okay, I guess I'll just sit around it by the pool or something. So I don't want to stay at the casino. I believe that was blackjack. Everybody has one of those, you know? If you go to a Vegas enough times, you're going to have one of those trips, I guess. Wrestling. Wrestling place? Soten Wrestling. I wonder if they have a wrestling mini game in this game. Because they had the uh, underground fighting ring. <clears throat> What's going on here? Hmm? ですが、もう放射員に入るって伝えちゃいましたし、今日からすぐ仕事を任されて。では、給料は放射員の倍を出させてもらう。それでどうだね？ 
倍ですかわかりました放射員はやめてあなたのお店で働きます<笑>いい返事だそれではこれからよろしく頼むよギリタイムさん Sounds like Porsche lost a hire It's a shame that this guy is sniping ここがさっきの男を引き抜かれたお店かああ来てくださったんですねお待ちしてましたようんあなたのような凄腕の経験者に来ていただいて本当に助かりましたこれからよろしくお願いしますね桐谷さんいや桐谷哲ちゃん何
だがさっきも言ったように俺は素人だあんまり期待しないでくれよキリオさんありがとうございますユキさんそろそろ開店準備をしないとそうねではキリュウさんいえキリュウ店長よろしくお願いしますねあげすはあクラブとマネージャーおっクラップカブレークラブグランプリ Your options when you talk to Yuki Can we get some hearts for the カブレークラブ I did not expect this Prepare to open Before opening go here to choose which girls will work or change their clothes Ranking match Compete with your rivals Do well to rank up Once you're in first place challenge the camp Chal Championship Challenge the reigning league champion to win the league Recruit hostages Hostesses Hire new girls to your roster Help review I don't understand any of this A hostess's style affects her ability to do her job. Oh my god. Style, a measure of what type of service a hostess offers. Looks, the impression customers have of their features. The higher a hostess's abilities, the more customers they can handle, and the more money they rake in. Their abilities will increase as they gain experience by working, but note that HP, hostess points, <laughs> hostess points, <laughs> represents a girl's stamina. That's an amazing stat. Amelia getting those hearts, saying, oh, that was adorable. I really liked that scene. That was a good scene. Um, make use of potentials. Some girls have innate abilities called potentials. These are passive abilities that automatically take effect when they're on the clock. New potentials can be learned upon leveling, and neg negative potentials may even disappear. Escorted will already be seated with the customer when you open. Relaxed recovers HP faster when not assigned to a table. Spoiled has a higher chance of success on support and trouble events. Serene immune to trouble events. Feisty more likely to have a trouble event. Stressed doesn't recover as much HP when not assigned to a table. Recruiting new girls. Advertising your openings may or may not bring new girls to the roster. However, scouting fees gradually increase, so be strategic about your advertisements. You can also recruit new girls while progressing through different leagues, and you never know how a sub story is going to end. The Platinum Cast. After leveling your Platinum hostesses, you may trigger a special event that can deepen your relationship with them. These events reward them with a huge experience point boost, so make sure you're giving shifts to your best girls. Dressing for Success. You can customize the features of your platinum hostesses, including their hair, makeup, clothing. Buying new outfits or styles costs money, but they're yours to keep. You should also watch how outfits or hairstyles affect the girl's looks categories. These customizations will allow you to boost categories beyond a girl's natural levels or simply design your dream outfit. You know you love it. The cast on duty. It's important not to overwork your roster. A girl's condition will worsen the more she works, which reduces her abilities. The neon smiley indicates the girl's condition. If she's not feeling well, give her a night off, and her condition will be restored. The more experienced the hostess, the higher the salary she demands, which can reduce overall profits. But don't be afraid to put them out there. They're usually your best workers. Running the club. Once you've prepared for a shift, it's time to open your club to customers and take on your rivals in the Cabaret Club Grand Prix. Cab the Grand Prix has four leagues, which will unlock as you attain champion status in each league. The more you open for business, the more fans you'll gain. More fans means not only more customers, but wealthier customers as well. After you finish a shift, you will gain fans based on the customer satisfaction. Wow, this is a heck of a mini game. Let's do it. I have no idea what's going on. I can't actually choose anything. Four Shine, owned by bygone legend Yuki. They're the league underdog. All right, let's do a ranking match, I guess. Open with this lineup, yeah. Oh God, oh my God, there's nine pages of this. Opening for business. The goal of each shift is to make as much money as possible. When a customer sits down at a table, the first step is to assign them a hostess. Customers will have preferences of hostesses based on desired looks and style, and their mood will change depending on whether or not you satisfy their demands. Customers will spend more money when they're in a better mood, so be sure to keep everyone happy. Over the course of a session with a customer, hostesses will slowly lose HP. They'll not be able to properly satisfy customers after running out of HP, so be sure to leave tired hostesses in standby until they regain their energy. Opening for business. Standby is on the left. Servicing in the middle. Remaining operation on the top. Oh, so it's kind of like Diner Dash, I guess, but if you're not actually playing as the waitress. That's kind of cool. The sales gauge and the fever gauge. Sales gauge. This displays how much money you've made over the course of your shift. It'll increase as you make more money. 
fever gauge. Keeping customers happy whoops, will slowly increase the fever gauge. Once it increases it to a certain level, you can press RB to enter fever mode. Oh my god, look at Kiryu in the suit! Can I get some hearts for Kiryu in the tux? Good stuff. When fever mode is active, customers will, res will spend more money and your hostesses will slowly regain HP. This effect will increase depending on how many bars of the fever gauge you've filled when you activate fever mode. Use this to your advantage to maximize sales. Sometimes, a hostess will call you over to her table for assistance. In those situations, move the cursor to the desired table and press Y to enter the table service menu. If you select the right choice, you can improve the customer's mood, restore the hostess's HP, and more. A table service chance is gone forever if the timer runs out, so be sure to take advantage of these as they arise. And then you're saying, oh lord, this is a lot, <laughs> and sending those hearts. Thank you. I think we'll need these hearts for this, for all the stuff's coming up here. But yeah, it is a lot, but I, I love that they're going for it. They're really getting in depth with this. I love that. Extensions and hostess request. If a customer is in a particularly good mood, you can convince them to extend their session on the payment screen. A customer that has extended their session will spend more money, so try to keep your wealthy guests coming back for more and rack up the cash. As your club gains fame, you so too will your hostesses. At times, customers may request a specific platinum hostess. They won't be truly happy with anyone else, so work hard to get them the girl they want. See, I love this because in Yakuza Kiwami 1, you remember we did a lot of, uh, we actually went, we frequented the hostess clubs a lot. And we like hung out with them and we talked and we did all the different stuff. So I love that in this one, it's actually like leveled up where it's like Kiryu knows what he likes in a hostess club. So now he gets to run the hostess club and give everybody else, you know, he could use his insights from the previous game. That's pretty cool. If you fulfill certain requirements over the course of a shift, your club may be graced by a special customer known as an oil baron that will pull all girls to his table. Whether or not they succeed in indulging him depends on their total style points. Make sure your lineup is as stylish as possible and keep an eye out for these guys. An oil baron, that's so good. Ending a shift. After each shift comes to an end, you'll be greeted with a sales report showing how much money you earned during the shift. The hostesses that work the shift will get experience points based on their total sales, so make sure your favorite girls are always on the floor earning levels. Based on your performance during a shift, your club may gain fans. The more happy customers you have, the easier it'll be for you to gain fans. Gaining fans will increase both the overall number of customers as well as the number of wealthy customers, leading to more sales and more profit. Having more fans will also give you the upper hand against your rivals in the Cabaret Grand Prix. So work hard and become the best crowd pleaser in all of Sotenbori. Oh my god. All right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It's real. It's really happening. Can we get some hearts? We actually said irashimase. All right, we're just going to send anybody to him. I'm not sure what he wants. So he likes to talk. Oh, I see it. He wants to talk, and we're gonna send her to him. Wait, she doesn't—he doesn't like her. Ah, crap. <laughs> so this guy's unhappy. This guy likes skill. Well, she's got a lot of skill. Maybe the guy in general is just unhappy. Can I move my mouse? Oh, this is way better. I'm gonna use the mouse for this part. Trouble! How do I, what do I do? How do I do it? How do I do it? What do I do? Uh-oh. What did he do? What did he try to do? What's he doing? No harassment. Oh, jeez. Okay. He still looks pretty aggressive. We gotta deal with that guy. Oh, this guy's giving us some money! What do I do? Can I do anything with him? No. I think everything's just going pretty smoothly. Yeah, I mean, they're saying, phew! That was a close one. We don't want that happening on our first day or any day. That is no good. Start the club, people are already starting trouble. Alright, uh... 
You want to extend your session, sir? He declined. Jerk. Get out of here. We don't need you anyway. Alright, so this guy is looking for love. And she has a really high love meter. He likes skill. And she's okay with skill, I guess. Oh wait, did I not get the check from that guy? I think I'm messing this up already. Oh man, guys. Alright, we gotta switch her out though. We gotta switch her out. This guy likes to party. Okay. I guess we could put her in, but... Man, what am I supposed to do? Oh, crap. I, am I not collecting the checks? See, that seems no good. Oh, God. This is pretty frustrating. This is really, uh... Oh, man. This is, like, uh... Pretty, uh, nerve-wracking is what I meant to say. Alright, we gotta, we gotta take her out. She's gonna, she's gonna start. How do I get her out of there? Get her out, get her out! Can I not get her out? Crap. Thank you, sir. Alright, get her out of here. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Oh, damn it. How do I get her out? I don't know how to how to remove someone. Oh, here we go. View controls. Oh, this is it. Okay. Fever mode is RB. Return assist table. Mash to indulge. All right. Up, down, left, right. Return. Return. It might be that. Mini game guide. Table service, no. Attracting fans, no. All right, maybe indulge, no. I think we just have to like not do anything. We just have to like let him leave. What's he doing? Dancing, scouting, violence. What are you doing? He's probably harassing. All right, get out of here. You got, you had your time. So I'm basically gonna say like, we're good. You, like you can just leave. Uh, thank you, sir. Yeah, it, this is kind of like heart wrenching because we can't serve everybody. Thank you. Everybody's like super tired out. We made 133,000 yen, that's pretty good. Oh look, they leveled up! Nice! Good stuff. I Amelia's mean, saying my internet's acting up. I'll be of little assistance. I'll just have to yell at the screen. Amelia, have a fantastic... Uh, oh, I don't know if you're saying that you are heading out or that just that you uh, are having problems. But I hope you enjoy the show. I hope it doesn't lag too much. ありがとうございました。本当に初めてですか。経験者みたいでしたよ。私も思いました。キリュさん才能ありますよ。お世辞はいい。だがなかなかいい店だと思うぜ。客もみんなこの店を気に入ってるようだしな。ありがとうございます
だこんなしょぼい店舗にいるのかい早くうちに来なよ可愛がってあげるからさあお断りですうんすれないねまそんなところが君の可愛いところだけどね神崎君今日は何の用また邪魔でもしに来たのかしらきついなあゆきさん今日はねこれを持ってきたんですよここれはキャバクラグランプリの案内ですキャバクラグランプリ何なんだそれは全国からの競合キャバクラ店が集まって売り上げナンバーワンを競う業界最大のイベントですグランプリで優勝したお店は宣伝効果で超人気店になると言われていますほうそんなものがあるのかええちなみに去年のチャンピオンはそこにいるキララさんが率いるお店蒼天堀サンシャイン神崎グループ最大そして日本最大の売り上げを誇るお店ですどうもなんと今回は特別推薦枠としてフォーシャインが選ばれたんですええー、でもフォーシャインは在籍キャバ嬢の関係で出場資格を満たしてないはず一体どうしていやー私も元同僚としてフォーシャインがこのまま潰れるのを黙って見てられなかったんですよそこで大会本部に掛け合いまして今回特別に推薦枠を用意してもらったんです本当感謝してもらいたい気分ですよよく言うわよ本当はフォーシャインにとどめを刺したいだけでしょとどめ全国から競合が集まるキャバクラグランプリに弱小のフォーシャインが参加してもボロ負けするのは確実大会でそんな恥をさらしたら店の評判や風格はダダ落ちただでさえ経営難のフォーシャインがそんなことになったらもう生き残ることはできないでしょそんなおいおいおいダメじゃないかキララこっちの思惑をバラしちゃ失礼だろう<笑>ませいぜい頑張ってくださいよフォーシャインそれじゃ大会でお会いしましょう。あかんべーた。どうしよう。ゆきさん、大会本部に事情を伝えて辞退した方が。ゆきさん、小雪ちゃん。でよキャバクラグランプリえっででもこのままだと出ようと出まいとフォーシャインはもうすぐ潰れてしまうわもちろん勝てる見込みが薄いことは分かってるでも可能性が少しでもあるならたとえ恥をかいてでも私はそれにかけてみたい戦わないで負けるのも嫌だしどうせ死ぬなら戦って死にたいじゃないユキさんそれに私は信じてるんだこのお店を小さいけれど他のどのお店よりもお客様を大事にできるそんなお店が負けるわけがないじゃないってね<笑><笑>そうですねやりましょうゆきさんよーしちょうど決まればあとは突き進むのみキリュウさん頑張りましょうねああえ俺もかお願いしますよ乗りかかった船じゃないですかそれに飛龍さん才能ありますってねそうは言っても俺もいろいろとやることがあるし可能な範囲で構いませんからね俺も必ずしますしメリット満載ですよねねまったくしょうがねえなわかったよやったーキリュウさん、絶対キャバクラリーグを勝ち上がってこのお店を人気店にしましょうねああそうだせっかく仲間も増えたことだし久々にあれやろうかいいですねあれ
きますよワンツースリーフォースラインうまく決まったねキリアさんも次はちゃんと覚えて一緒にやってくださいねあああえもしかしてとんでもねえもんを引き受けちまったのか<笑> Damn OK so we can like walk around now Good stuff guys We're running a cabaret club now What a world we live in Forshine So we can probably go run the club with her. There's the bar. That's a cool looking bar, honestly. That's the equipment box. This is to the back room. What's in the back room? Oh, this is like the makeup wardrobe dressing room thing. There will probably be missions back here, I guess, eventually. Oh, look, you can see Kiryu in the mirror. Cool. There's nothing going on here now, though. Good stuff, guys. Let's get a save in here. That's why I remember them saying that there was like a, a club thing. When we were looking at the skills list, there was a club related uh, skill, and I wasn't sure what it was. Guys, that's amazing. I am very excited for this mini game. So uh, we're going to have to jump into way more of that on the next episode. Thank you, everybody, for joining the show. Now, we are going to call that a show today. It is a late night, and uh, let's all throw that love to somebody else who's playing some video games. So make sure you copy down the raid message that you see in the chat there. It says, Meatball Marauders are here to party. Or if you're on a device that can't copy, don't worry. You can still be part of the raid by writing the alternate raid message. The alternate raid message is uh, Glorious Meatball Raid. You can see it right there. So whichever one you choose to do, make sure you write that in there, and you'll be a part of that raid. Now, uh, hold on. I'm going to quit the game here. And we will properly take this out. Now, if you don't know the channel, it's called The Voice of Nick. I play video games live three times a day and seven days a week. It's all story-focused games on here, and I don't talk over the story or cutscene moments, but they are what we call ultra-blind playthroughs. So I do request no one utilize their pre-existing knowledge of the game or suggest what to do in the game, whether or not they've played it before. Now, if you want to see what's happening on the channel, you can type exclamation mark games in the chat. You'll get a full list of all seven concurrent gameplay series going, including Yakuza Kiwami 2. And if you like what you saw today, don't forget to hit that follow button. Up top, you see a follower goal of seven. We're currently at two, so we're getting there, guys. The 29th entry of the Twitch playbook just came out. It's called How to Get in the Habit of Streaming. And that's going to help you to stay consistent about your Twitch streaming and really, really uh, sort of discipline yourself to make sure that you don't miss any streams. Now, if you don't know the Twitch playbook, it is a free podcast I created to help all of you guys in this community either create your own Twitch channels from scratch or improve on an existing channel if you already have one. You can find it on iTunes, on Spotify, on all the major podcast platforms by searching for the Twitch Playbook, or you can type exclamation mark playbook into the chat, you'll get a link directly to it. Now, if you like the channel, you want to support the stuff that I do, then consider subscribing. Subscribers get a whole bunch of stuff on here, including the voice of Nick Emote, legendary status in the chat and Discord, 200 meatballs, higher chance to win in the heist minigames, and ad free streams. Another great way to support the stream is to cheer or donate. Cheers and donators both get custom Voice of Nick voices as their shoutouts. On the donation leaderboards this week, we have nobody. On the cheerleader boards this week, we have in third place, Meat Computer with 115 cheer. That is a purple level cheer. Thank you to Meat Computer. Second place is Space Dust with 300 cheer. That is a purple level cheer as well. Thank you to Space Dust. First place is Robert M. Sr. with 500 cheer. That is a purple level cheer as well. Thank you to Robert M. Sr. Thank you to everybody who supports these streams. It is highly appreciated. You are directly helping these shows to get better. Every single day, I improve at least one thing about this family of channels here, whether it is tweaking the streams in front of you, whether it's creating and posting content that goes on the social channels, whether it is uh, adding or, or updating things on the wiki or Discord, whether it is writing, recording, posting all the Twitch playbook entries, all that stuff, guys, is in large part thanks to all of you for supporting these streams by cheering, donating, subscribing, gifting subs, or gifting games. Thank you so much to everybody who does it. It is very highly appreciated. Now, uh, let's jump into a raid. I also want to say a big thanks to all of our mods and admins who make this community amazing. And uh, hey, Peter Beer getting a cheer in here. Thank you to Peter Beer for the cheer. Right at the end of the show, too, right uh, in time to uh, before we go out. 
So let's get a brand new voice and new voice in here. How about this one? My name is Cabaret Calloway. I run 50 cabaret clubs all at the same time. I'm like a puppet master guy and I literally control all of the ladies in the cabaret clubs with strings from above. And all of the roofs of the cabaret clubs have to be cut out so that the strings won't get caught on anything. So it's really cold in the winter time and when it rains, everybody gets rained on. But everybody likes the cabaret clubs because the people are nice and everybody talks to you and has good conversations and stuff so they don't mind the rain. They, and they also don't mind the strings that are connected to the ladies because, you know, the, the ladies otherwise are really cool. So they, they don't mind that part. Anyway, Cabaret Calloway. Ask me anything about cabarets, I'll tell you, and then I'll kill you. But I'll tell you. That's Cabaret Calloway, ladies and gents. Thank you to Peer to Beer for the cheer. Let's get a marker in here for Cabaret. I'm really excited for that minigame. Cabaret Calloway in there. And uh, now we have a Cabaret related character on the Voice of Nick Wiki. Good stuff, guys. Um, anybody who cheers over 50 on the channel gets a Voice of Nick Voice straight from the wiki as their shout out. Anyone who donates or cheers over 100 gets to summon a brand new Voice of Nick Voice straight from the depths of the Nickiverse. Verse, verse, verse. Thank you to Peer to Beer for that cheer. It is highly appreciated. Now, um, let's jump into a raid. Oh, but first we should do a quick cheerleader word readout. We have now in third place Peer to Beer with 200 cheer. Thank you to Peer to Beer for that uh, cheer. There's a purple level cheer. Second place is Space Test with 300 cheer. There's a purple level cheer as well. And first place is Robert M. Sr. with 500 cheer. There's also a purple level cheer. Thank you to Robert M. Sr. Thank you to Space Test. Thank you to Peer to Beer. Thank you to everybody for supporting these streams. It is highly appreciated. Um, now let's see if we can find a raid to, uh, to jump into. Who do we got here? It is late at night. It is 2.29 a.m. LA time. Let's see if we can't find somebody fun who is uh, doing some cool stuff. Ooh, somebody else is playing, oh man, playing Kiwami 2. Good stuff. We, of course, would not be able to join that, but we can join other stuff. We have some cool people doing some cool stuff. We have multiple cool people, actually. How are we supposed to decide now? Okay, let's join this one, guys. We have Storky in here who is playing some ARC Survival Evolved. Let's join into that, guys. So uh, make sure you copy down that raid message from earlier. I'll actually repost that raid message here. You can copy the raid message that says, um, "Oops." You can copy that raid message that says, "Meatball Marauders are here to party," or you can actually write in manually the message that says, "Glorious Meatball Raid." You can just write "Glorious Meatball Raid" into Storky's chat if you can't copy paste on your device. Whichever one you do, you'll be joining in the raid and you'll be showing that you're coming in with the community. So it is very highly appreciated if you do that. If you join in by either copy pasting the raid message or by writing the raid message, either way. It is very highly appreciated. Now, uh, guys, show that love to Storky. Storky's amazing, really nice person. You're gonna immediately understand uh, why we love Storky. Now, um, I will see you tomorrow. We have three more video game shows coming up tomorrow and one secret stream if you can find it. But until then, everybody, bye-bye. Thanks for watching.